three. Hello, everybody. We are alive. I'm Wanda. I and I am Danny. From Deep South Homestead. All right. Danny is not my real name, but that's my stage name. Okay. I guess that's not important. All right, anyway. Robert. Okay. That's a little better. <laughs> that's not any better. <laughs> that's not any better. <laughs> Kelly. Hey, girl. How you doing? Amber. JM from the Nut House. Hello, Miss Jen and Valerie. Good to see y'all here. Coffee time. Hello. Everybody's getting their notifications on time. Buckeye girl. Yes. Ah, uh, and I'm Amber. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Courtney. Miss Brenda, South Georgia Hydroponics. Seven Sprouts, Saddle Ridge. Susan Leeway, Christine. Miss Sheila, Papa Truck. Lemon Pop. Oh, All things good. good. Hello, Jay, and thank you. For the Happy Falls Day, Glenn from Oklahoma, time to sew. Boy, look at them, they're just piling in here. Windy Acres Farm, hello from Clanton. As tired Island. as I am, my eyes are just going. Her eyes are just running down like, woo. Okay. Okay, that's enough. Is I that gotta, enough? I gotta quit looking. You gotta is quit looking? raining, or am I just... You're just imagining okay. things. You want my it to rain, are... it ain't. Oh, <laughs> uh, everybody gets rain but us. We get it every now and then, though. Yeah, my eyes are just tired. That's and watching this screen go. See, I like, I like, I like Marie's thing. Met the vegetable garden. She says, "Good evening, family." It is. It's a family. It's a family. Yes. And we're having a gathering. We're having again. a gathering again here on our family March, get together. Well, we're having one tonight, but every Saturday night. But we're going to have one March the night. We're going to have yep. a gathering of our family. Anybody that wants to come March 9th here in Wiggins, Mississippi. Yeah, I've seen this D said how D. How D. Yeah. I like that because she does that. There's Miss Beth says, hey y'all. D says I use my mat upside down and I knew that. But I like it. I like the smooth side. I tried the prickly side up and I get that if stuff spills, it gets down in the prickly side. Yeah. But I like the smooth side. So and Danny liked it. You liked the mat. Yeah, it was, it was, was pretty good. He was like, man, I really like this. So we, we really like our mat for canning. That's yeah. what we're talking about, our canning mat. There's Miss Angie's pantry. Seven Sprout says it's storming like crazy here in South Georgia. Uh, we're not getting any right We're now. not getting any of that. Mm. Uh, Beth says, Danny, you know, it really means a lot to us when you refer to us as family. And y'all are family. To be I'm honest, I'm sorry, I'm, Beth. I will call sometime, but I yeah, just we are. have been so busy. If y'all only knew what our days consisted of. Our, our days used to start about 5 o'clock in the morning. Here lately, mine has been starting about 3 o'clock in the morning. And At I've least been, 4 to 4.30. About 4.30, we're usually rolling. There's Amanda. Uh, hello, Ms. Amanda from Freedom Acres. Grandma Makers. Rose. Yeah, um, so we've got a lot of our yeah, friends and family coming in. It is family, Beth, and I'm glad you mentioned that because it does mean you. Y'all mean a lot to us, and we y'all always say how much we mean to you. But in a lot of ways, y'all are more family to us than our own family is. You and know, speaking of family, you did have family. Today. I had family here today. My daughter came today, and she visited me for a couple hours. And, and your and grandson. My grandson came Trey. with her. Um, yes, Trey. And we had a wonderful time. We laughed. We carried and on. Laughed and laughed and, and laughed. laughed. <laughs> yeah, about just how some people are. I mean, <laughs> how the world has become and how funny. Things from old days to. Oh, we talked. To, we reminisced about the old days. Yeah. About things that you know when she was a child. She told things that happened to her, and you know, I was telling things that you know about when she was dating and stuff like that. Just some of the things that dads do. You know. And we had the Lorries here. Uh, oh, we did. We had Heidi and uh, Caitlin and Heather are back. Yeah, Brian was here with them. Well, they're back from Florida for a few days. Yep. And um, so we're going to get to do a few things um, with them over a couple of days. So they're here. And Miss Sylvia said she went to Charlie's You Pick and Wiggins last year and almost got stuck in their new fields. It was a blast taking the kids with me. It was bad this morning. <laughs> but not to the point of getting stuck unless you went in your own vehicle. Yeah, if you went in your own vehicle, that's what she's talking about. The tractor was okay. The tractor was fine. But it was like mud everywhere. All right, do a DITL blog, Day in the Life of What 
is what, what it, it means. means. I'd love to see a day in your life there. I did one last, was it last year? The year uh, before? I don't remember. I did one. I started that morning. I'm going, I'm going to video a little bit of my life all day <laughs> long. And no, oh, mid afternoon, what was it? Three, four o'clock in the afternoon. Danny fell down the cellar steps. We ended up in the emergency room. Yeah. And I ended up ending it as we got home from the emergency room. <laughs> Our day goes all over the place. But yeah, I, I've yeah. thought about doing another one. It's just that it's hard to remember. You wouldn't get the gist of everything unless we took a camera 24 hours. Yeah. It would be really, really hard. But I could hit the highlights, I guess. But it would be tough. Uh, Amber wants to know, any idea about what I thought about those deer running around in circles? Remember I showed you all that? That was weird. That was weird. And the only thing, Amber, I can think of is, uh, I haven't done any research on this. It's just my personal thinking about it, is that we're facing a magnetic pole shift. And perhaps these animals are confused about mm -hmm. where to go because usually they migrate through the tundra area up there. And with the magnetic pole shift from north to south, perhaps it's messed up that migration sense in them, and they don't know what to do. They're just sitting there walking around in circles. So, I mean, I would think that that might be, uh, might be what it might be. But so many people here are saying they've been canning. Yeah. Uh, Beth canned 30 quarts of squash. Uh, Angie canned 10 pints of applewood smoked turkey bacon. Now, I need to go, if you did a video, I'm going to have to go look at that. Yeah. Because we just we got a video coming up next week. We do. Where, um, I'm going to be, when I put it up, it is going to be when we're butchering the turkey, but I'm not going to call it, I'm going to say processing a turkey, probably in the title. So if you guys don't want to see a processed turkey, don't click on it. But it's not going to be gory. We don't show the killing part. Right. We'll pick it up from him starting to skin it skin and the whole thing. The whole he thing, skinned yeah. it. He didn't. So, you know. So that was kind of how our thing went. Um, so we're going to put up a look at her canned smoky, smoky breast, whatever, smoked breast. Smoked turkey breast. I think bacon. that would be. That sounds good. I'm the only thing, to well, the only today. thing is, is, and we talk about this in the video yeah. uh, with the turkey, is that we like to make turkey bacon. We have the machine yeah, to do it. We just don't have the attachment to the do press. it. The press. The press part right. that actually fastens onto the end of it that actually presses it out yeah. into long strips. That's the only part that we don't have. Uh, maybe one day we'll be able to afford to get one and we'll be able to do it. But uh, Yeah, well, one guy says his green peppers and hot peppers are growing beautifully, but he has a rabbit problem. Oh, a gun will get rid of oh, a gun. I, look, I have shot a complete box of shells this week. And I have shot just about everything. Cucumbers or pickles and tomatoes. Well, Lori family's been canning a lot of carrots. Yeah. And she brought me some carrots. And I did a video, but I didn't ever put it up. But Heidi put, put up, I think today or yesterday or one day this week, a canning carrots video. Um... And we put a, I put up a squash video on Crazy Days. So it's not on Deep South, it's on Crazy Days. And it's kind of a vlog of the day. It was late day. I didn't do the first part of the day. Um, so I do have a squash video over on Crazy Days. Uh, Beth, we do not can our peppers. We uh, Peppers, when you can them, turn to mush. We did some a couple uh, of years ago. We didn't ago. like them. Uh, but really crazy about We them. do freeze all of ours. Today we froze uh, nine gallons cut of up cut up peppers strips. into like stir fry strips. And we bagged up uh, two. two gallons of, uh, you call them boat peppers, like you cut them in half? Yeah, I took the um, bell peppers and what was the other one? The little gypsy. Gypsy peppers. And I cut them in half and made little boats out of them. And put filled up a gallon of each for making stuffed peppers. And what did you have for supper tonight? I had a gypsy pepper stuffed with with ground meat. It tastes like the ground meat out of a jar. Was it was it? okay. It tastes like some of our canned, canned ground, ground meat. meat. I yeah. thought it turned out good. It did. It turned out real good. And quinoa, uh, I mixed up in our salsa, our eggplant salsa at that. Yes. 
So that I mixed all that up and added some salt and pepper, stuffed it into a gypsy pepper, and that's what we had for supper tonight. Uh, everybody's talking about amber and all these different ones we're talking about. They've been picking stuff. They're going to be canning stuff. Uh, Tammy says she got a horse problem. No corn this year. I guess the corn, the horse ate all the corn. The horse would be gone if he belonged to Danny. Because the bottom line is this turkey that we're going to have a video coming up about <laughs> me butchering, he did not abide by the rules at Deep South Homestead. And Deep South Homestead, if you don't abide by the rules, you go to freezer camp. And all the animals know that. And as long as they stay within their boundaries and they don't get out of line, they get to live a very peaceful life. But if you get out of line, you go to freezer camp. Uh, we just cut and freeze. We do not parboil or anything the peppers because I take nope. them out as is, throw them into a pan for stir fry, and they're fabulous. And somebody old Sal said to can the peppers like pickles. You can you can do pickle pickle uh, peppers. Pickle peppers. Yeah. Pick a peck a pickle peppers. You can pick a pepper Who pepper. knows what a peck is? Has anybody even put that up there? Has I'm anybody waiting. put the answer to what a peck is? Danny didn't even know. Quite frankly, I didn't know. I knew it was. Similar, but I wasn't one hundred percent sure. <laughs> uh, Let's see. They picked their first green beans and cucumbers. That's very yeah. Cool. You see here. Everybody's picking. There's Amy Sutherland. Hey, girl. How are hey, you? Hey, sweetheart. Good to see you in here. Um, a quarter of a bushel coffee time. Yes. First one I see. And Marie's guard, vegetable guard says, don't you dare get in between Danny and his food. That's right. Oh, he told somebody at the, you pick it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was funny. Oh, yeah. Well, it was two couples. It was two got couples. Got onto the trailer with us, and we had just finished picking, and we were headed out, and they were. They were coming in. They were coming in. On they, the trailer. Yeah, and, um. They looked at us and they says, oh, we'll just take your buckets. And Danny says, oh, no, you won't. And the woman looks, she goes, well, I thought people in Mississippi were nice. And he says, we are until you get to messing with our food. I said, yeah, we are until you mess with our food. That's exactly right. And I told her, I says, anyway, we have a big YouTube channel. And I actually ended up with some subscribers out of the bunch. We yeah. did. They subscribed to us right there on the trailer. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, Amanda's done Googling it. Yeah, but... uh. What's her name? Got it first. Okay, uh, peck is a quarter of a bushel is what it is. Yeah, yeah. and um, I forgot who got it first. I saw the name and I said it a while ago, but didn't it? No way. Let's see. Uh, coffee time. Got it first. Is a okay. quarter of a bushel. Actually, a bushel. Show them your bush, bushel basket. We have one here. Yeah. Let me see if I can get it up in the room here. This, my friends, is a bushel basket. Yes. It, and it's supposed to hold 32 quarts. Yes. According to what I was reading. And a peck is a quarter, a quarter of, that, of that, which is eight, eight. quarts. And That's dry quarts. Yes, it's dry quarts. Well, no, no good to pour water in there because it just run around. Right yeah, probably. <laughs> and so somebody's saying a peck is equivalent to two gallons. So I guess that would be true because eight quarts is two gallons. But you can't do liquids that way. I think it's only for dry quartz. I'm not sure. Yeah. Um, I know Angie's been talking a lot about the deer virus, that, that black death virus that's been going up north. Uh, these deer that we looked at in uh, the rain, there were reindeer is what we were talking about. And they were in circles. It was the whole herds. It wasn't, we're talking about hundreds and hundreds of them. Walking in perfect circles and even From an airplane looking down, looking down on even the ones in corrals and pens where they pin them up. All of those were working, walking in circles and stuff like that. The magnetic, uh, that was what they were saying. That was the magnetic uh, reversal mm -hmm. in the Earth's core was actually having an, uh, an a effect weird on effect. Them. weird effect on them. That's what that was yeah. about. Uh, Michael Jones says, "Happy Father's Day." Thank y'all. From Tidewater, Virginia. Yes. Uh, yeah, so two gallons or eight quarts or a quarter of a bushel is a peck. Yes. My granny said that saying my whole life, glad to know what it kind of means. A bushel and a peck and a hug around the neck. 
That's what kept popping in my mind all day today because we were joking about picking a peck of peppers. Because they're not pickled yet. They're not pickled. Yeah, we couldn't now say we, we pick a peck of pickled peppers. We just said pick a peck of peppers. Now, how would you pick a peck of pickled peppers? Because you can't. You can't pickle them first. Pickle them before you pickle. You have to pick a peck of peppers. To, to pick pickle. a pickled pepper. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, that's a tame breezer, ain't it? Oh, a brain teaser, I mean. Oh. Uh, Do you, you pick Danny corn, corn early as eating corn? Yes. yes. We picked what was? Oh, that we corn? picked White Eagle Cherokee corn today. Wait, yeah, White. Eagle right. chair of corn. I got it right. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do a video on cooking that, and maybe tomorrow or next day, something like that. Yeah. I got so much to do tomorrow too. Oh gosh, so. tomorrow, <laughs> guys. I was up at three o'clock this morning. I cooked breakfast at four. We was out the door at five thirty. By the time we mm -hmm. fed the animals and everything, we was at the farm at six. We were back at the shed and on our way home by seven thirty. Mm hmm. With three five-gallon bucket fulls of peppers. Now let me show you something here. Yeah, you do have pictures. I'm gonna back over here and I'm gonna start showing y'all some. Uh, let me well, see if I can them. find. It. Now, give me just a minute here. Okay. Right, bushels. Okay. Bushels. This is what we picked today, guys. Well, did you? Come yeah, on, there we go. Okay, so the purple ones in the middle, we did not pick. We just bought nine of those. They we couldn't were, find them in the field. Yeah, we would have had to walk. We would have had to do a lot of walking. Well, they were three for a dollar, so we only picked up nine of those. But everything else, we bought three five-gallon buckets, and we banged the buckets down and stashed little... We picked some little peppers as well as big peppers. Yeah, we picked small peppers to fall in between the cracks of the big peppers so we could get more in a bucket. Yeah, because if you just went and picked all big peppers, you could fill that bucket up in a heartbeat. You don't have that many peppers. Yeah, you could. One bucket, some of the peppers we picked, probably 25 peppers would have filled the bucket up. Yeah, if we'd have just put yeah, big peppers. If we'd have just, just we picked stuffed up. little peppers all down in there. We different kinds of peppers in each bucket because they didn't care. Yeah. A bucket's a bucket. But they don't care as long as you fill the bucket up. And, uh, okay. They were, it was just awesome. There we are. Now show uh, them the sliced peppers. Now this is what they look like when we got through with them and we sent them to the freezer. Freezer camp. This is what, this is how we do our peppers here. So that when we do a stir fry, uh, I throw them in a roast. Uh, yeah, anything. Over chicken. Any kind of Anything I need peppers for, I just take a handful out, throw them in. They're ready to go. It took a lot of prep time today cleaning them and cutting them. Danny and I spent, what, four or yep. five hours? Yeah. At least four, maybe five. We probably spent close to five hours a day yeah. slicing and slicing cutting slicing up peppers. peppers. Yeah. But this is what they look like anyway um, when we got through with them. We put them in the freezer. Because, guys, let me tell you something. When we get ready to eat, we like for our food to look good i love color i love color look, ooh. <laughs> oh Kinda that didn't look with, good hey it looks so good did it? <laughs> that was a drastic change there wasn't it <laughs> those are pretty peppers to us Woo. <laughs> mess with that yeah, sorry about that guys that's kind of it even bothers us sometimes freezer camp's the best for unruly peppers that's, yeah, that's it. right you, you, you screw up here at deep south homestead you end up at some really crazy well places. with nine gallons of cut up peppers guys i can probably go a long time this year just reaching in, grabbing peppers, and I'm done. I don't have to sit and cut while I'm trying to do something. They're ready for me. And our peppers that Danny planted, we planted some of the purple. We planted some of the gypsy, the banana peppers, bell peppers, bell peppers. and Marconi's. So if ours make, then we'll have more. We'll have more for salsa. Yeah. So we didn't make salsa out of these. Mama Tribe Homestead, if your blooms are falling off your pepper plants, it's probably... It's probably because it's too wet. Um, a lot of research I'm doing about blooms falling off the stuff says it has to do with to whether it's tomatoes, peppers, or anything. Says it may be too wet. Okay, Wendy Acres wants to know about her cucumbers growing to a teardrop shape. What did you say that was? That's usually caused by um, two different things: one, too much water; the other one, no pollination. Michael White wants to know what the pepper did wrong. It was in the wrong place. It was in the wrong, wrong place time. at the wrong time, and I was hungry. Or we will be. I was hungry this morning when I was picking them. And I actually, we ate, um, was it the roaster 
we, we sliced off we sliced pieces, off pieces of each oh, one of them and tried them. Guys, y'all, well, I mean, we're going, we got a video coming up, but we're not going to show you all of it now, but we have a video coming up about this picking that we went to. Guys, this will blow your mind. I didn't put any pictures in here tonight, no, no. but these fields, I mean, a lot of them have been there, and some of them have been to you pick yeah. but if you guys have never been to a you pick it, this is going to blow your mind at what it really looks like. It, I mean, I was even amazed, and I've, I've been around gardens all my life. Yeah, but when we saw this, I mean, I kind of had an idea what it looked like because I knew where it was at, but... Yeah. Well, I mean, I've seen fields from a distance. I've not been in yeah. fields yeah. like that. She saw the produce, and I'm telling you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, it, it was something else. I when y'all see the video, you'll, you'll know what we're I talking about. I could spend so much money there, it's not even... Let, let me put it to you this way. In the 15 minutes that it took one to me to pick these three five-gallon bucket fulls of pepper, a 63-year-old man picked who, has, a, had a who has had a liver transplant <laughs> Picked 11 buckets of tomatoes in the same amount of time by himself that it took us to pick three buckets of peppers. Yeah, and we weren't being picky. We weren't we being were picky. Pretty much picky yeah. and going, which I was videoing too. Well, of course, Wanda was videoing. Yeah. yeah. But I'm going to give y'all guys a look. Um, I'm going to give you a look. Uh, hold on a minute here. Uh, Gigi's Farm says, How long can you freeze tomatoes before canning? It doesn't matter. They can stay in there all year. Yeah, matter. and then you take them out and can them. You can take them out and can them anytime. Uh, I'm going to give y'all a, a little bit of a brief look at some of our garden. It's uh, a little bit of a garden update. We was going to do a video, but we decided, heck, with a live stream tonight, let's just do it on a live stream. Do you see here? Now, this is our, uh, Hopi. This is our Hopi uh, Mohican, Mohican corn. Our blue Hopi Mochican corn with Cherokee tan pumpkins growing in amongst the corn. Now, the grass is extremely deep in here, and we ain't worried about it because as soon as all this stuff comes out, we're going to turn cows in this pasture anyway. Uh, so we don't mind it. As a matter of fact, we go in and harvest some of the grass out with clippers, and we take it and feed the animals. Uh, they are loving they that are grass. They are loving that grass. Now... Let me, uh, whoo, there we go again. <laughs> Let's check about this one. This is one of the Cherokee tan pumpkins. That's that one vine. Well, that's no, two. two vines. That's two vines. Running across there. Yeah, running across there. And you see end. how they're just going everywhere. Uh, they're looking a little yellow in spots. We're not sure. I think it's just too much rain, because where they're at, it's pretty wet. Yeah, even though we hadn't got a lot of rain, when we when it rains, it rains. So, well, when the ground under gets wet, it stays wet. Yeah. Um, okay, Ooh, there we go. Uh, let's see here. The next one is the Red Ripper Peas. We're going to show you now. Let's see here. That's the Red Ripper Peas. I keep watching the comments over there because I'm trying to make sure. There we go. That's our Red Ripper Peas. One and I had them things spotless, what, about two weeks ago? Yeah, and the next week they were growing. The rain came, and boy. Well, they're in between them are no weeds. Yeah, there's you see yeah. Is on the edges are the weeds, but in between the peas, there's absolutely no no weeds whatsoever. But the vines are growing like crazy. I mean, yeah, the vines are just covering each other, and there there's no weeds. It's just peas. Yeah, that's mostly just red ripper peas. Those runners on are up to five and six feet long on them plants. They're just going everywhere. Yeah. Whoo, there we go again. Let's see here now. Let's look at something else. Let's uh let's go right here to this one. What that you're is... looking at here, this is a uh, sugar cane in the background and turmeric in the foreground and, and ginger on the right hand side down toward the bottom down there. Jen at the nut house gave me this turmeric and ginger last year. And I planted it, and I did not dig it up during the winter. I left it. It overwintered. And where the turmeric is, I only had like one plant ever so often. Now there's like four and five in each little place. So it is going to be beautiful in a couple of weeks. Uh, Beth wants to know, is our field peas blooming yet? We've already been picking them. Yes. I've done put up uh, two or three quart. I mean, two or three pints off of them. I'm not picking a lot at a time right now, but I'm just scatter picking when they turn. Brenda's here says, does your food go to yourself and animals or do you barter? We, it goes to ourselves and our animals. Yes, most everything Most does. everything we do. Now, we do barter, but we don't barter with our own food. Yeah. Now, here, 
is one of our other areas. Let's see if I can get to this. Uh, that's our pink eye purple hull peas in the front garden. Yes, they are growing like we crazy. Have, actually, there's eight rows of them there, or actually six and a half, which would make seven. Actually, seven rows. You put two of them together there. Uh, they're actually starting to grow pretty decent. Um, so that's that's good. We're excited about that. We're, we should have peas on that in another three weeks, maybe. Um, let me see if I can um, get a little bit further along here. Yeah. Okay. Let's get. Oh, there we go. He's scaring y'all. Hey, Lou no. and Nikki Stanley. Yeah. She's been sick since Sunday. Okay, girl, we've been praying. We've been praying anyway for you. Yeah, April says, what do you recommend for Japanese beetles on green beans? Guys, we have knock on wood or whatever. We yeah, have not saying. had any Japanese beetles. We've been praying God's grace over our place. Um, and so far, God has been so good. But, yeah, we haven't had those. Now, stink bugs, they're hitting our apples. Our apples have been so pretty for so long, and we can start harvesting apples because oh, yeah, Heidi can. ate one while ago, and she said it was she delicious. She ate my apple? Oh, I'm sorry, Heidi, you're in trouble. <laughs> Heidi, you <laughs> ate my apple? Well, I can't say nothing because, hold on here a minute. I ate one of her plums. Uh, you ate one of her plums, but Jan says her speckled uh, uh, Dixie peas are starting to come in. Ours have already been coming in. We done picked and canned some of them. Uh, butter peas? Our butter peas, yes. yeah. Yes, I've I want to show y'all, uh, Heidi, Heidi, when she got here today, gave me a Father's Day gift. <laughs> and I've been patiently waiting to see if Grizz would uh, would come on here, and he hasn't yet. Yeah, we, uh, we I hadn't Grizz. seen Grizz, but Heidi gave me this, guys. Look at this. You see this right here? She gave me my own little hammer to whack the kitty with. So Actually, a pen, actually, actually, it's, right. a, actually it's an ink pen. Uh, yeah, it's an ink pen. You see the point on it? Uh, but she gave that to me as Father's Day. Thank you, Heidi. That was very thoughtful of you. Now I will wear my hammer proudly <laughs> in my pocket. And whack the and kitty if, for good. And if gets out of line, that's actual steel on the end of that. Is it? Yeah. No, it's not. It's painted that's, wood. It feels like steel. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay, back to the garden. Oh, the, the stink bugs are bad here. Time yeah, to show. We, yeah, we, we just, we've got a lot of stink bugs here. We can't do anything when they're messing with our apples. But yeah, yeah okay, we can start canning apples too. On top of everything else yeah. we've got to do, we got apples to do. we got too. apples to do too. Okay, here we go, guys. One more. Let's go. Whoa, 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 look at there. Our star of David okra has finally come up. It has finally started growing. We've got three rows of it. I uh, actually noticed today it's trying to put some blooms on. <laughs> so we shouldn't be too far off. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that corn there is the that white is the eagle. white eagle. Yes, that's the one where we found the weird shuckless ear on that the is tassel. The tassel ear, they call it. Yeah, yeah, we found that. And in there. Uh, that's what the one we picked a couple of ears to eat in the next day or so. Yeah. Okay. And that's what. Whoa! Here we go, guys. Now y'all know I am known as the sweet potato king. So. Let's take a look and see how my sweet potatoes are doing. And this is just some of them. This is just some of them. Now, we have about 700, but this is just some of them. This is one little patch. These, this is the first one. This is our first patch of sweet potatoes. Um, they are doing fantastic. The vines have, have worked out really well. We cleaned that patch up here, what, was about two weeks ago? Yeah. And, and guys, y'all really hear us say we cleaned... It means we were literally out there pulling all the weeds in between. In between the rows, up around the vines, yeah. everything. It took me and Wanda two mornings to do this one patch. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's get rid of that. Oh, one more. Here we go. This is our upper sweet potato patch. As you can see, there is a little bit of grass in it that we have to get out. We did these first two rows, and we had the last... Three or four, four or five. five. I think it's five of them. He had just planted those, and now we've been so busy, we hadn't been able to get back and pull the weeds in between. So now we're... we're the working. rain is catching up with us. I mean, this, this heat and rain. Yeah, we it got, usually does. We got so much stuff coming in until um, till literally it just, it's, it's almost overwhelming. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, 
Then uh, you've got the cane. Okay, this is our second cane patch. One that didn't get the whole cane patch. This is the upper part of our sweet yeah. potatoes, the new ones that we just planted. They're and already growing pretty good. They're growing pretty good. And our sugar cane on the right hand side, actually, we got like five rows of that, I think it is. I got a lot of it weeded out, but I didn't get all of it weeded out. Yeah, Gons did. Mike Carey said, How is the Cherokee Tan Pumpkin? Show that picture again for him. He must have just came in because we just looked at that. Yeah. We got two pictures of it there, uh, Mike. One, this is it. They have at them the end at the, the end of the corn rows, and they're all in the corn too, scattered around. This is a little bit better view of it, I guess. Um, now, this is just one place that we have Cherokee tans. We have them in a couple of other different we places. We have some on the hookah bed. Yep, we have some on the hookah bed. That's right. Um, um, but they're doing really good. Um, I think they'll... Um, Southern Ridge says, My seed from last year's store evergreen corn is coming up. We normally grow store evergreen, but this year we did not plant any because we went straight from winter to 100 degree summer temperature. We did not have a spring, so... When we, uh, Sweet corn takes cool weather to grow. Not frosting, but just cool. Yeah. It don't like heat. And yeah. so we just didn't plan any. How about an All God's Children video for Father's Day? Oh, I would love to do that, guys. But I'm going to tell you what. We are loaded to the If hill. he does, it'll have to be tomorrow night. It'll be night. tomorrow night. Because as soon as day break in the morning, when it's like 5 o'clock, we got to be out in the field picking again. Yeah, my rattlesnake beans are huge. <laughs> I right. should have picked them today. So we should I have got, picked them, but we didn't. I'll have a good cannon of rattlesnake beans tomorrow. Oh, uh, let's see. South Georgia Hydroponic says, Do I remember you saying you did not plant Danny corn? That is exactly right. We have so much in the freezer, I decided not to plant any. We still have plenty of seed. Yeah. But we decided to try the Cherokee Eagle. We tried it, the Blue Mohican. We got that. Hopi corn. And I actually have another Blue Flower Hopi corn planted. But the ants are getting. The ants are Time it gets up about this tall, the ants are eating it off at the ground. It's just falling over. Um, Danny, I planted red and yellow peppers, but they are green. How do I get them to turn colors? Wait till they get ready. Give them time. All peppers are green till they turn colors. Yes, they, they stay on there and they'll turn at, when they've matured. Uh, Blue Ridge Pepper says, what do you do for potato bugs on your red and white potatoes? They're destroying our crop. Normally... I mean, I only had them one year here, and I went through, before they actually turned into beetles out there, they're like a rubber bug, and I went through the bucket and actually picked all the rubber bugs off the plants, uh, mashed all the eggs under the leaves, and thank God, we have never had another one. Yeah, we've not had any of those. Chickens love them. Do you ever dehydrate blueberries and peppers? We yes. do peppers. The blueberries takes about 24 to 48 hours to dehydrate. So, no, yes. we do not do blueberries. I it's did not it one it. time, and it was not worth it to us to dehydrate the blueberries. The peppers, I did some of those, but I'd rather have my peppers in the freezer, freezer. than any other way. Jan said she cooked her husband her first batch of rattlesnake beans, and he liked to eat them all. Good. We really like them. Seven Sprouts said ants got all their onions and carrots. Uh, it must have been dry. How um, long can you freeze a whole potato before it freezer burns? I've never done that. We've potatoes. never frozen potatoes. I don't know. One says the ants got their onions and carrots. After the rain start, you know, all this rain started, the ants are just hitting everything. Beth says, Danny, I think my peas have a virus. The leaves are curling. Suggestion, please. Uh, normally, when leaves curl, on all vegetables, it's too much water. It could be a virus. Um, or you're there getting is, a lot of water. <laughs> or you're getting a lot of water. Um, it's going to be one of the two. You'd be the guy, uh, um, leaf miners, or you'll have a virus. I mean, uh, too much water. I see. Uh, I think it was Charlotte. Charlotte said her rattlesnake beans are coming in. See, lots of people are, uh, lots of people's stuff are starting to come in. And guys, look, can it? Please, can. God has given us. <laughs> God has given us a, a, a just a break, I believe. Your daughter's being evil to Amanda. Oh, where is, I ain't even seen her. Where is she at? Oh. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> yeah, man, I had to tell my daughter about those peppers there. So um, I hope that, I hope that I doesn't have to bother Google you. I that now, and it is true, y'all. We don't want to get on that discussion right now, okay? But, yeah, that's another type of pepper. Uh, Jan says those rattlesnake beans are the only green beans she'll grow now. And look, guys, we are the same way. What's a peck? It's a quarter of a bushel or, or eight, eight quarts. Or two gallons. Or two gallons. Of, of a dry... Of a dry matter. Now, you can't not water a dry matter. Yeah. Uh, Susan, I mean, Susan. Can't um, wait to take, try Brenda, Brenda Duncan's got an anniversary. Happy anniversary, Brenda and Paul. Uh, scared Wonders, uh, Sacred Wonder says, my beet greens are <laughs> browning, watered, Slash mod, any ideas? Watered moderately. Uh, if they're turning brown, I mean, it could be a virus. I'm not sure. Um, Catherine, I do not know what a natural predator of a flea beetles are. Uh, we have flea beetles occasionally, but not bad. Yeah. Um, Music Willow made it. Yeah. Um. Charlotte says, I do fill up my jars and freezer. Yeah. Okay, so oh, pretty man. much we've been canning all week, we've and been, not just for not us. Not for just for us, that's right. We uh, bartered, we bartered with a friend, and it's an older friend to Danny. Not an older. I better not call do her. Do not older. call her older. She's well, younger Kat, than we she's are. She's actually way <laughs> younger than we are. Or she's not that much younger. She's a friend that Danny had. When uh, his previous wife was alive, she's a very close friend, and she was one of the ones that um, studied with him on survival. And uh, she's big into uh, couponing and all this stuff back six, seven, eight years ago. Yeah. And uh, she was wanting some canned stuff, and she was willing to barter meat for canned goods. She went to this you pick it. And brought us the jars and the the veggies, and we have canned them for, her, and we did sixty five jars for her this week. Yeah, we canned sixty five. No, and, and that's on top of what. That's we on top did. of what we can for ourselves too. We didn't can a lot this week. I think we did. What we do about thirty? No, look at the frog. Yo, know, that's weird. He's Are crawling you, on my window. Uh, we did about track. twenty. For us, we yeah. didn't do very many for us this week, but we we're kicking it up starting tomorrow. But um, she was very um, going to be bringing swapping out with us, so we got her sixty five jars done. So we we just kicked it into high gear. Um, uh, Keystone Farm says, "How's the tractor leak situation coming along?" We do not own that tractor any longer. Uh, we actually bought uh, a larger size tractor. And got away from that model altogether. Is it too late to plant a second crop of rattlesnake beans? I don't think it would be. Well, it depends on where you live in the country. If you live north, no, it's not. Um, can you plant in the garden this late in the season? If so, what can you plant? We're still planting sweet potatoes. We're still planting sweet potatoes. I just planted uh, corns. Uh, we planted peppers. We planted corn. Uh, uh, field planted, corn now, not sweet corn, but field corn. Yeah, I planted uh, the Algonquin pumpkins. Uh, cotton. Um, I planted my cotton this past about two, three weeks ago, and it's up about yay tall. I forgot to get pictures, but about four, five, six inches, something like that, the cotton. And this is the brown cotton that Marlon, who is JM at the Nut House dad, he sent it to me. And uh, so we're trying the brown cotton this time. Yeah. Any Mayhaus resource, any Mayhaus sources. No. Maria's vegetable garden says, look behind you. What behind us? All I see is a fireplace, a mantle, uh, a Deep South Homestead cutting board, two candy corn candles, and a picture that Wanda blessed me with. I don't see anything. I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell the face if it's a smiley face or what it is. It's, it looks like one-eyed ducks or something. I don't know. <laughs> That's what I was wondering. Okay. Like something's behind us. I'm not sure. Danny, how do I get my peppers changed from green to yellow and red ones that I planted? You have to wait and let them mature. All peppers are green when they first start growing. They will turn 
when their number of days is up for them to reach maturity. South Georgia Hydroponics said, are you doing field corn for feed? Yes and no. Mm -hmm. Before, before when it, well, let me say, when it, when it reaches maturity, uh, we get some to cut off for fried corn. Because uh, fried field corn in a cast iron skillet with a little bacon grease or a little butter, mm -hmm. you, you can't beat it. Um, and there's Miss Courtney. Courtney sent me some Louisiana coffee. Oh, yes, she did. And it was good. Okay, what else do we get? Um, Seven Sprouts oh, says Jen this found one. candy corn toffee. Oh, my goodness. Taffy. Taffy. Hey, Toffee. Taffy. Hard, I gotta have some. You squeeze them hard. I'm gonna I'm, have I'm, to visit her in California to get taffy. I'm tender. Don't be crazy. <laughs> I'm not going to California. Just sorry. No, you're not going to California. Oh, sorry. She slide. needs to come to Mississippi. Yeah, you ain't gonna go out there and slide off in the ocean. Yeah, she needs to come to Mississippi. Okay. Uh, Blue Ridge Prepper says they're Danny Corn. A lot of people have Danny Corn planted this year. Good. So, good. Good. I gotta have some candy corn. That's just I'm gonna have to go get some candy corn now. They're gonna make me want it. Yeah, that's yeah, you're gonna go binge on it. Um Seven Sprout says, I want some Danny corn. Well Wanda, do you have it up on our Etsy store? Yes. Deep South Homestead .com, and you will find it. Okay, my cucumber leaves are yellowing. I cut down on water and added magnesium. Any other suggestions? Hold on here now. My cucumber leaves are yellowing. I cut down on water and added magnesium. Oh, uh, lack of nitrogen, or <laughs> yeah. it's coming to a PO box near me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see let's here. See. Rocks Connor, hi y'all. How are you doing? Okay, I mean I'm trying to go back. And look. I'm, I'm, I'm drinking sassafras. Jonathan Take says my peaches are covered with a brown mold. The peaches are half size as normal. <laughs> it, it sounds like it's damp and wet and humid where you're at. Maybe uh, Jennifer, maybe. Um, oh. Why do you have to save me some of that candy corn taffy? I well, said maybe. Uh, she, I should have to know when it comes in. She's gonna have to come visit <laughs> again. Yeah. What is Danny Corn? Explain Danny Corn. What is Danny Corn? What the heck is Danny Corn? Well, Tom, let's put it this way. About 27 years ago, I created a variety of corn that is my own personal breed. I call it Danny Corn. It is an heirloom. It comes back true to itself every year. If you go back and look at some of our past videos about some of our corn. I have a uh, playlist. I have a playlist on it. It can corn. grow up to 16 feet tall. And it can be as big as this part of your arm right That's in here. Long too. And as the, the, ears. the ears can be as long as this part of your arm in here, up to 12 to 16 inches long. Uh, it is multicolored. Uh, it is a mixture. As I'm calling it a dent corn because it's a mixture of a lot of different kinds of corns, but it actually comes back true every year to itself. <laughs> um, planted about 12 to 16 inches apart every stalk. So... Yeah, and it's um, according to climate. It's going to be according to dirt. It's going to be according to. We climate. have several YouTubers who have ordered corn from me, like uh, Eric from Life and Farmland. Show Eric's like me. He's like six foot three inches tall, and shows him actually jumping up in the air trying to get to the ears of corn. Uh, old South says theirs is three feet you taller call it than I can reach, and I'm six foot one. Wow! So that means it's at least. It means at least eight. Na eight nine, to nine. Nine, yeah, at least nine foot. Wow! And it's got a long way to go. Yep, and a short time to get there. <laughs> oh, I, I Ms. Amanda's growing some. Uh, from Freedom Acres is growing some. Uh, Danny mm -hmm. corn too, and I looked at hers the other day on the video she sent me, and it's like. Yeah, it was way above her head, you know, so mm -hmm. so hers is doing fantastic. She said even an old timer stopped by and went out and asked her, said, What in the heck is the kind of corn is that? Yeah, they people are and life in farmland, Eric said that people would stop and ask him, Where did you get that corn? What kind of corn what, is what it? What kind I've of never corn is that? I've that never top. seen that. Hey, Big Bear. We got something from Big Bear, but we, we can't did. give it away. I can't give it away because I got a video on it. 
Yeah, whenever I finally get to editing yep, videos. Yeah, we get to editing. But We've got so many videos to edit. Good Lord. Big Bear it. sent us a surprise package this week. Well, like, not surprise because I already knew it was coming. So it wasn't a surprise. Blue Ridge Pepper says, Danny, explain your tan pumpkins. We uh, got those from Mr. Mr. John, John in Florida. Yep. Sent us These are two years ago. Two years ago, sent us some Cherokee tan pumpkin seeds from the actual seed bank from the Cherokees, I believe. If I remember the letter reading it right. I can't remember that part of it. Uh, but, but explain. But the, we grew it. These call these little pumpkins just get they don't get very big. I got one. Uh, one has got one. We got well, one. Let go get it. It's only one we got left. What we did, we purposely been eating one to two pumpkins a month just to see how long they'll last because we were told that they would last up to a year. And we picked these pumpkins last September. Now we've still got a, two or three months to go to get to September, um, but we only got one pumpkin left. So we're just waiting to eat it. This is what they look like right here. The last ones we ate were perfect. There was nothing wrong awesome. with them. Them things. Guys, this is how our forefathers and the Native Americans kept their food. They didn't put it in jars. They left it in its natural state. And it done fantastic. That's what it looks like on the bottom. And them things, guys, are utterly delicious. Now, the last ones I did, I made a pie out of. Like I would make a pumpkin pie. Or a sweet potato pie. Actually, the sweet potato. What what is it? Well, I gotta answer some questions, so you gotta so, go. It was good. Uh, South Georgia Hydroponics said, "What variety of field corn do you plant?" We plant Danny corn. This year we 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 upped it, we we upped it this year to White Eagle Cherokee, uh, Blue Mo Chicken, Hopi corn. We got those two coming up right now. And Danny, Danny corn, corn is, is a not a sweet corn; it is a corn. field corn. It can be used to make cornmeal, grits, chicken feed, cattle feed, whatever you want. I've read it up for all that. It was from the Tribal Council in, in Cherokee. Cherokee. Okay. okay, thank you, Mr. John. They were fantastic, guys. These Cherokee tan pumpkins, everywhere there's a leaf on the vine, it puts out a set of roots into the ground, uh, which makes it pretty resistant to vine borers because if a vine borer happens to get in it somewhere, and it's rooted up in front of it. It doesn't kill the whole plant. It just keeps already rooted again. It just keeps going. Um, Bloomfield Farm says, "Danny, I'm going to order Danny corn for next year if it will grow here, since I have about 110 days to projected frost date here in Ohio. It takes about 125 days for it to get up and do really well. So you'd be wise to wait." Yes, Big Bear, he does. Yes, he had. I actually had I actually played some jokes on some people today. Yeah, uh, Caitlin and Heather when they came in, and uh, Jennifer and Trey when they came in. So he's actually showing it to a lot of people, and it's only we've only had it twenty four hours. Yeah, we've only had it for twenty four hours. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's a little hot, but right it's, now it's, it's definitely warm. It'd be good in the winter time. That's for yeah. sure. So you gotta wait on the video, everybody. Yep, gotta wait. Uh, this year I'm trying Mandant, Mandant Banquet Squash and the Algonquin Pumpkins. The, Catherine sent me some Algonquin Pumpkins, so I planted them. They're not up yet, are they? Uh, I don't think so. No, because I walked up here today. They weren't up there. They're not, they're not up yet, but I only planted them this week, so we're going to see how they do. Um, Algonquin. Yeah. Algonquin. Quinn. Algonquin. Quinn. Okay, I'm putting an extra syllable in there. But it says you can say Ken or Quinn. Yeah, but I was saying Ala. Ala. That's not Ala. No, it's Algonquin. Algonquin. Yeah. Yeah, I was putting an A in there that wasn't supposed to be. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. This place we went to today had eggplants. I see. Uh, J.M. at the Nut House says, How is the ancient watermelons? They did not come up, only two of them. And they have not done nothing. They're still They're sitting still there. About the They're size. about that tall. They've been in the ground for like two or three months. Yeah, never did do anything. 
Yes, Jennifer, I am talking about what was in my lap when you came in. The hat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tammy says, do the Cherokee tan pumpkins require cold or chill hours? No. A frost will kill them. Uh, so, aging them does increase the taste, I believe, because it seems like the longer we wait, the sweeter they get. Yes, deep south it is. So far, the bugs have been merciful. Yeah. So, we, we don't have any watermelons at all. We haven't planted any more. We haven't planted any more. So, we were hoping that the ancient ones done good. Actually, we run out of room. Yeah, but we talked about trying the sugar babies again because they always... You know, the sugar babies always do good. They always do good. Yeah, they do good. But Real we just good. really... We hadn't had room. We're planting sweet potatoes everywhere. We've... We planted the purple sweet potato slips that yep, Dan, Dan sent, sent us. And, um, they look Dale, awesome. Dale Foley, is that who, who sent us the other ones? I can't remember. They sent the potatoes. They sent the potatoes, and we actually planted them. That's where I'm getting and, the slips from. And then he gave Brian some of the purple slips yesterday, right? So Yeah, they've actually made a lot of slips. Producing slips. We planted, what, two beds of slips. Mm -hmm. And then I gave Brian about 10 or 15 of them, I think, somewhere along there. And if he produces some more and we don't find room, we may put some up on Etsy eventually. But it's just according to how all of them start producing. Yeah. I haven't looked. Is the white ones making slips yet? I hadn't even looked. I forgot. We are obviously staying so busy. Uh, what kind of fertilizer, fertilizer should I use? We just use triple 13. That's all we use. Quake Lake says her moringa didn't make it, but she's going to try again. I've got two doing really well uh two more that are in pots that are they're starting to yell a little but i think it's just because of the hot rain hot steam rain, rain, rain no water baking it with the sun <laughs> back and forth okay uh, on the south listen, their, their ancients are doing well but they started them in trays charlotte said her her stars and, and watermelon moon watermelons are doing good that's the amish plant those a lot Oh, I've got something I gotta go. Uh, we got clear some, off. We got something we gotta clear off, guys. We'll do it in a minute. If y'all go to our site and there's some ugliness, just give us time to yep. get over there. Just and give clear us time to get there and clear it off. We got a troll on our channel, so you have to just. We uh, get those pop up ever so often. Yeah, we try to catch them, but just this one just happened during the live stream. I think I know who it is. I'm just, I just don't want to say. Um, yeah, it'll be gone after a while. We'll take care of it in just a little while, though. We got right. about eight more minutes or so, and we'll take care of it. Uh, I'm start no, don't do that in front of me. You know how I am. Yeah, You'll okay. start yawning. I'll start yawning too. Uh, what else? Uh, Lemon Pop says, "Do you sell the Cherokee tan pumpkin seeds?" Yes, we do. Um, but we have none. Right we have now. none right now because everybody's bought all of them. But and we, we've got we, one, this one pumpkin. When we eat that pumpkin and get the seeds saved out of it. Uh, we will put them up on our Etsy store, so keep watching our Etsy store. Yeah, I know it won't be for the next week or so. No, we probably won't eat this pumpkin at least till. I'm going to try and hold off till at least in July. Yeah, because we want to see how far it will actually go. Yeah. Yeah, because we don't. There probably won't be any more for planting this year. It'll probably be for planting next year. Uh, Mike says, my Brussels sprouts have seemed to stop growing. What can I do to encourage your growth? Brussels sprouts are made to grow only during bitter cold weather. They're not made to grow in hot weather. So um, you're lucky if they're even still alive. Yeah. Uh, All right. So Seven Sprouts says, that's what worries them about starting their own channel is trolls. Look, trolls. Look, guys, I don't pay any attention to trolls. I mean, they're just like, they're losers, you know? And and I don't even worry about them. They're, they're somebody who's just miserable and trying to make everybody else miserable. Uh, Blue Ridge Prepper wants to know, how do you get our Amazon link? Look in the description of our videos and scroll down. It's in all that writing in the description. It's probably more toward the end of the description. So it's in every video or should be. Yeah, Teresa, yes, you are right. If you want your peppers to turn colors, they will quit growing more if I don't pick them, right? Yes, uh, because when you don't pick something off of a plant, 
it tells that plant that it's going into seed saving mode to reproduce itself so it actually quits putting on new peppers. But technically, sometimes, I'm not saying this is all the time true, but with some peppers, you can actually pull them, take them off the plant when they get to be really big and set them in the refrigerator and they will actually turn colors um, mm -hmm. once you put them in the refrigerator. Uh, Susan wants to know, do we have anything exciting planned for when we hit 40,000 followers? Actually, it's been sneaking up on us. We are at 38,300. Oh, really? I don't ever pay attention to it. I just do videos. I, um, I looked a while ago when we, right? I mean, I happened to look at it when we were getting ready for this, and it's been just climbing on us so fast till I don't know. We got to do something special for 40,000, but I don't know what yet. I don't know. Jonathan says the best way to cook a troll. <laughs> oh, I don't know what the best way to cook a troll is. Ignore them for the most part. I ain't going to ignore nobody. I, I mean, you know, we're more about just kicking somebody's butt. Just know. clicking them off and that's yeah. it. We, um, we, I, have, I have zero tolerance for ignorance. Yeah. And when, when someone's a troll, to me it's a sign that they're extremely ignorant. And I have zero tolerance for them. Just ban them. If you can't ban them, then they're like little sport brats. You just ignore them. Yeah, that's what I mean. Ignore them. Or whip their butt, whichever comes first. Yeah, we just, yeah. we don't deal well with that. We just leave, leave it alone. Um, they're talking about some kind of... Between fire ants and yellow flies, I, I refuse to have bare feet, Mama tried to. <laughs> and I do not blame you, because the day cutting up peppers, I was sitting on my porch, and I All bet right. you I killed a half a dozen of them yellow flies out there, trying to bite me. Wait to do something for fifty thousand. We may have to because if if it stays the way we are and as busy as we are, forty thousand is going to come and go, and we're still going to be not even paying any attention. But we'll try to think of something. My daughter's right. Trolls go to freezer camp. Yep. Um. Oh, let's see here. We are actually. How close are we? We're like three minutes from our time. Yeah, we got to... Um, oh, the, we need to mention at some point, and it, whether it'll be this week yet, we still haven't decided. Uh, Denny is going to start doing a live stream where he's talking about one subject. He's going to stay on one subject. You can ask questions about that one subject, whether it's tomatoes, whatever. And the first one's going to be kind of a gardening 101 type. Yeah, because I'm thinking about so many people have so many questions about gardening. And I see people making so many mistakes, even people with YouTube channels, making so many mistakes in gardening that I told her, I said, you know what, it's probably time that I actually uh, sit down and do a, um, like a gardening 101, just basic information to start with. And then after that point, maybe taking one plant at a time and talking about that one plant. Um, yeah. Because like here, we're talking about different plants back and forth and back and forth. But if he takes one at a time and he talks about all aspects of that one plant and then you get to um, ask questions about that one plant. Yeah. But the first night, I want him to talk about environment Climate, climate, soil, uh, all that, and, all that kind of stuff. and do that PHs, because you know, so just, many mistakes are made because people don't understand the whole moon phases. The, yeah, you gotta. I mean, you have to know the makeup of the soil. I mean, you can put all the fertilizer in the soil you want, but if that pH is not right, you ain't doing no good. You're just yeah. wasting your time. So we're not 100% sure when or what night, but. Or if it's during the day. He yeah. has not made his mind up yet on that. Um, I had not made my mind up yet. Um, you know how you know when you're getting old? What? Old people sit around and put their hands inside their overalls, you know? I wondered about that. I've seen Yeah, that. I mean, yeah. I was sitting here. I was just sitting here looking at myself. And I said, gosh, that reminds me of my daddy when he used to do that. Yeah. I'm going to get my hands out of my overalls. I'm getting, it makes me look like I'm getting old. Yeah, so... Um, Okay, so we'll, okay. we'll be doing that at some some point in the next some point. week or two. All y'all saying Happy Father's Day, thank y'all so much. Um, I, I just felt like that this type of a video series would be beneficial um, to yeah. lots of people. 
And Danny can sit down and talk and do a video, but it's easier when he sits and talks to you and you ask the questions because we interact. Yeah. You need the interaction because you may hear him say something in a video, but and you can type it in the quest in the comments and we might get back to you today and it might be tomorrow. He tries to answer everybody, but it takes us a long time to sit and answer a bunch of questions. So yeah. if he does that, you know, we'll We'll Seven sprouts says pregnant mamas put their hands in their own right, Yeah, they do. <sighs> oh, that's funny. Now, yeah. that brings back, I mean, I got to get off here quick. I know this, but just, I was in a restaurant. I got to tell this story. Uh, I was in a restaurant, and this lady come walking in the restaurant, and her and she was, she come walking in, and that gallop was undone, hanging down her side like that. And that, I thought that was unusual. We was uh, up paying at the counter, and I looked at her. I said, "Ma'am, I said I find it unusual that um, you have one strap undone on your overalls. Is there any reason why you just wear one strap hooked up?" She said, "Well, she says, have you ever had one of them bad days and had to go to the bathroom in a hurry?" She said, <laughs> and she said, "It's kind of tough to get all these straps undone." She said, "So I just leave one undone." I was like, "Enough said." <laughs> But uh, he keeps both his buckled. I keep both of mine buckled. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so hometown says, what state are you in? If she's asking us, we are in Mississippi. We're in southern Mississippi. And she says she is in Los, Los Angeles. Where I just saw something. Los Angeles, yeah. Oh, Gary says they saw us driving this morning. I was driving on the opposite side. We'd let them see our other vehicle. I don't know what happened. When I mess with the phone like I did at the fields, the sun is blaring. I can't see what I'm doing. I've obviously hit buttons that I don't know was there. So when we started videoing, it reversed everything. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know what happened, and I don't know how to fix it. I'm totally illiterate when it comes to this phone. I play with it till it does what I want it to do, and most of the time it don't. Uh, Teresa, I answered that question a while ago. I said, yes, uh, the peppers will quit producing if you leave them on there. They go into seed-saving mode. Okay, guys, we are fixing that to do our prayer requests, and Wanda and I have been up since like 4 o'clock. I've been up since 3, but she's been up since 4 something. Um... We need to, uh, you, you have anybody, you had a list down there? Yeah. Uh, Linda, we are about, what, 30 miles from Biloxi? Yeah. Yeah, about 30 miles from Biloxi inland. Inland, yes. Okay. Uh, Okie Rob. Okie Rob has asked us to pray that he gets some rain in Oklahoma because his gardens are actually drying up. And I want to ask y'all, along with me, to pray for Oki Rob so that um, his gardens in Oklahoma, and anybody else who has drought situations going on, uh, you know, that we can get them needed rain. Because, guys, look, food is everything to some people. I know it is to us. Mm -hmm. That's the reason we went to the U picket this morning because our peppers have been failing us and we didn't want to take any chance. Yeah. And by putting up the peppers we put up, if ours do mate, we have double enough for a lot longer period of time because we would have been having peppers by now if ours had been making and they're not. So we just replanted. Okay. Um, People saying, pray for my husband, he's in pain. People are breaking in in the country and in different counties. Major health problems for friends. Um, Idaho's having drought. Idaho is in a severe drought. Southwest Idaho, yeah. because the other places may have. Yeah, they may have plenty up there. Yeah, Sand Hollow Homestead, so they're in a drought also. Well, Oki Rob is in Oklahoma, so that's it's, it's just, it just seems like there's a line across there where they, they're just not getting the rain that they need. Christy says she has a bad, bad tooth. Bad tooth and no money and no insurance. Boy, I know how that is. Mm -hmm. I've been there. Me too. Um, uh, let's see. April's April is coming a, home Monday. Yes, let's pray that she makes it home. Yeah, they've been traveling. Um, um, Mama T's Mom's mom. house. She's 72. She's been having blood pressure issues. 
uh, Future Dreams mom. Um, financial. Oh, and her on Father's Day. Yes, girl. We yes, can. girl. I, I understand. Believe me. Yeah, it would be nice if she could come visit us. It would. You just got to make a trip. It we is gotta. what it is. Um, but we will be thinking about you. Uh, um, both of you, actually. Yeah. Pray for our president. Um, also, uh, financial. Financial problems. Um Please, no rain in Virginia. I mean, there's places <laughs> that need it and there's places yeah. that don't need it. Too much rain is just as bad as not getting enough. Arizona's in its 21st year of drought. Wow. That's that's pretty serious. Yeah. Okay, guys. Um, We're going to go ahead. And, uh, yes. Uh, cloves is a yeah. good pain reliever for the clove, tooth. The clove oil. Yes, I keep a bottle. We keep of a. It's about. Oil. It comes in a bottle about this big. One drop on your tooth usually takes care of any toothache problems. If you have the whole clothes, you can bite into it. It'll do the same thing. Yeah. But. Um, if your tooth is hurting, you don't want to bite into anything. Well, I get that, but if if you don't have any weight other than whole clothes, but I keep the oil. Okay. Um. We, we need to go ahead and go to prayer. I'm sitting here looking. God sees all these. There's no uh, way. I... Jim, there was another guy, Jim, asked for prayer this week. Yeah. People call us and ask us for prayer. Or send messages. Um, and... uh, we want to pray that uh, the Lori family is able to sell their home and I will get moved right quick. Um, Amanda from Freedom Makers has been talking to me about some prayer requests that she has. Uh, we need to remember her. That God will grant her the desires of her heart also. Um, a Amy Sutherland. Uh, she's been in the hospital a lot here lately. Uh, very dear friend of ours from New York. She's a... Uh, covets our prayers, I'm sure. Uh, um, Joel Fike. Uh, yes, Joel Fike. Um, I, I don't know. I have a list. we got a whole list of them down here, guys. We pray over these things daily. So uh, we don't have... I mean, it would be impossible for us to mention every one of them. Yeah, um, I didn't really write everything down. There's Mapleberry. Mapleberry. We've been seeing your off-grid home that you're building up there. Yeah. Okay, let's just go ahead and go, go to prayer so we can, um, we got to get to bed so we can get up early. Yes. Okay, Father, we want to come to you tonight. We want to take this time. We want to um, go to you in prayer on behalf of... Uh, all the ones that are here before us tonight. Father, it's uh, it's an awesome responsibility when people say, please pray for me about this or about that. Lord, and we're lifting up all these requests to you tonight, Father. There's been anything from financial issues to pain issues to cancer to, Lord, just it's innumerable, the hurting that people are going through. Um, uh, people are needing their houses sold. The Lori family, we pray for them. We pray for Amanda from Freedom Makers. It heard that she's called and asked for us to pray for her over specific things. And we're doing that tonight, Lord. Um, Ms. Nikki Stanley's uh, going through chemo treatments. And uh, we have those people who have cancers getting good reports back. We want to praise you for that. Um, uh, we want to pray for our leaders of our country, our military, Lord, for our president, the, the citizens of Hawaii. With all the uh, volcanic eruptions, Lord, and uh, the earthquake people, is, uh, with the earthquakes going on, Father, flood victims, drought victims, Oki Rob's having drought where he's at, Lord. He needs water in a bad kind of way. He needs it to rain, Father, so send him some rain. Those that don't need rain, take it away from them for a while, Lord, so that they can dry up. And Father, there's just people who have addictions, strongholds in their life. They're trying to break down. Children that have problems, uh, wayward, I mean, follow divorce. Uh, there's just a numerous amount of things here tonight that I've seen that um, people have called and asked us to pray for. Uh, our, our, our dear friend, Ms. Amy, has been going through a lot of kidney issues. She's been in and out of the hospital, Father. We pray for her that she can have healing for her bodies. And Father, for all the Father's Day out here. But most of all, we want to remember the one who came and gave his life for us that we might have eternal life, Father. And that is you, our Heavenly Father. We want to take this time to acknowledge you 
and just pray that um, we can be closer to you and be more like you. And we pray for your protection on our life every day. And for everyone here who asked for requests tonight, Lord, that their prayer requests would be met. Father, we're honoring scripture when you said the effectual prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Uh, bear one another's burdens. Father, that's what we're doing here tonight. Asking that you will heal, comfort, meet needs of everyone here tonight that's asked for prayer now. Bless us so that we can continue to bless others. Bless all of our crops, our animals, our gardens, our fruit trees, Lord, our health. All these things that we need you for in our life for now. We ask these things in thy name. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys. Whew. Oh, my eyes start watering. Yeah, when I, I close. Yawning so much. Oh, when I close my eyes, I almost want to go to sleep myself. Yeah. Man. And don't forget, I will have a video up sometime in the first of the week or middle of the week on going to the U Picket. I'm going to have one up on going, there's Charmel. Hey. Hey, Charmel. And uh, go to, uh, on the butchering the turkey. Yep. And it will say processing turkey. So please don't give me any flack on Yeah, it. don't give us any flack about uh, We have to word it. I can't put butchering turkey up there because of No, uh, YouTube so. will just demonetize it. So I'm uh. going to do processing turkey see if it slips through the cracks because a lot of people want to know how to process things and it, there's no blood it's not gory yeah I actually i butchered this whole turkey and never got my hands bloody but one time and i don't even know if we even showed that well i hadn't edited it yet okay. and that's only that's only because when he's desecrating so desecrating not desecrating Desecrating. 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 Whatever. Yeah. He's desecrating. <laughs> the oblation of desecration, which takes place at the third temple. Yeah, okay. so I'm sorry. That's right. Before Wrong you word. That's, you're getting into all God's children stuff there now. I know. You gotta watch it. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're ushering in the end of days. Yeah, I'm, I'm operating on no brain activity, so. I'll agree with that. So we're going to be harvesting turkey, and I don't know, you got a pork stone? Not yet. I haven't shot porch time yet, but I'm pretty sure I'll, pretty, I'll have to. You got something? Okay. Porch time takes a lot of work to make happen. So. Yeah. It takes him all of, let me go sit down and do this. <laughs> I have a lot of work that goes into porch times. How about dispatching turkeys? Yeah. I don't know. It's well, we be... put these words up there, guys. What happens is people click on it, they watch it, and then they send us an ugly message. You go, oh, my God, I wish you'd have told me ahead of time that there was going to be the loss of life and gory details and stuff like that. Just suck it up and get over it. You know what I mean? That's, <laughs> you know, grow a pair or whatever. I don't know how you say it. If you ain't going to run with the big dogs, don't get off the porch. Is Processing the meat is part of homesteading. Yeah. And we process meat. Yes. We have to. We have to if we want it. If we're going to eat. And so we... Maybe we should just title it Turkey Freezer Camp. <laughs> turkey goes to freezer camp. We'll probably get all of them. We would get... we get all of them. we get all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody think, oh my God, Turkey just has a camp to go to? They'd be wanting to send there. They want to send there until they find out what it is. Yeah. Our turkeys actually signed up for them. Yeah, they did when they marched on the deep they south. They marched on the deep south land. They said... Go into freezer camp. Yeah, eliminating turkeys. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> well, my thought is I was going to go something like uh, couldn't stand it anymore. In a, or he pushed the buttons. He pushed, he pushed Danny's buttons. He pushed my buttons is what he did. <laughs> and I have a very, I have a zero tolerance. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, he, he was just, he had done his last deed yeah, here. And he did his last deed. Um, that was it. Uh, you get one shot with me. That's it. Yes. Yeah, so, turkey serves, serves its purpose at Deep South Homestead. How about that. turkey boot camp? <laughs> yeah, I was the mean drill sergeant in this one. Snowflakes flakes prefer fake test tube meat. Yeah. Uh, this is true. Yeah, Wendy Acres, uh, the Crazy Days t-shirt should mail out in about a week. Uh, the campaign stopped last night. So. Yeah, so it'll take them a little while, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So we are going to...
try to go to bed in a little while and get some sleep so we can um, start again in the morning. Bright and early. And uh, we will talk to y'all. See you in the next video. You will. I will, because I'm always in know. every video. I don't yes. know if I'm going to be. Y'all have yes. to somebody say, Danny, you have got to quit doing this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. <laughs> did you not see your poor wife drop her head when you did not mention her name? <laughs> yeah. Suck it up, guys. She she knew all about it. When we pre-talk about this stuff ahead of he, time. I'm telling him, you're going to talk. And he doesn't introduce me if I'm not really part of the discussion half the time. And we don't yeah. think about it. So we don't think about it. I mean, she's got her own channel. And I'm in it all the time. And she never says this I is I never Danny. say, hey, y'all, this is Danny. I forget. I don't yeah, even say, hey, know. I'm Wanda. I go, hey, welcome to Crazy we're, we're, Days. We're, we're, we wear big britches. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes I get my feelings hurt. Sometimes you get your feelings hurt. But most of the times we wear our big britches. Yeah. And y'all should too. Y'all, we gotta go. We gotta we're go. Great and crazy is getting late. Good night, y'all. See you in the next video. Thumbs up, guys. Stop introducing yourself only. See, you gotta introduce me. I introduce myself. Uh, everybody knows who she is. Come on, get off of here. <laughs> Bye, Bye, -bye guys. guys.